But why she's been a fiance for for ten plus years, isn't it? So basically, certain women they put ultimatums on man. I know a man who basically lost his gal because obviously he didn't basically bitch up and agree to the ultimate because she tried to control him in it. So basically, certain gal will put an ultimatum on a man. Oh, you need to marry me. Like, it's a true story. A man was told by his gal, you need to marry me by December of this year. Let's say, for example, it's March. You need to marry me by December of this year or I'm going to break up with you or whatever. Really. And uh, yeah, they did break up, but they got back together, but they broke up again after that. But yeah, certain, certain gal will try to put these ultimatums on man to make man bitch up and that. Yeah. So certain man will bitch up. Yeah, certain man might not be like my man and marry the woman or whatever. And certain man will bitch up and say, okay, cool, I'll marry you. Put a, a ring on, on the woman's finger or whatever. Isn't it? But these women are deluded. Like, if you've been a man's fiance for 10 years, bro, <laughs> do you think that that man's really going to marry you? Yeah. Certain man there play the game. Certain man put a ring on a woman's finger just so that they can remain under their roof. Yeah. Some women will tell a man, and yeah, if you're in that position where, boy, you live under a woman's roof, if she says to you, well, you need to marry me by December or it's over. Well, if it's over, that don't mean you still get to live here. If it's over, that means you have to go back to your mother's sofa. And you don't know how I feel about man living under a woman's roof. Innit? So some man bitch up and some man will end up putting a ring on a woman's finger instead of telling a woman, no. Yeah, Tell a woman, no, innit? So there's certain women out here, they've been a, a man's fiance for 15 years. Let me tell you something like, your woman watching this right now, if you've been a man's fiance for more than two or three years, he ain't marrying you. Yeah. He ain't marrying you. Yeah, Because he would have done it already. Me, I don't even believe in marriage. I don't. I think it's a waste of a man's money. But that man is not marrying you after 10 years. Trust me. Man, no. Bare examples. Yeah. Bare examples. Yeah, women are fiancés and that. They've been a fiancé for 10 years. He's not marrying you. He's not marrying you. Yeah? I don't give a fuck what he says. Watch this video and then pull him up. Stick it on him and say to him, why have you not married me? I've been your fiancé for five to ten years. And yeah? watch him come up with some excuse about how much it's going to cost them. Yeah? Bullshit. Bullshit. If a man was really that serious about marrying you, which he's not, they would have done some local idiot wedding reception marriage thing bullshit. Yeah, a man is not marrying. Yeah. Man is not marrying, you know. What watch the views? The, the viewers have gone down from 11 to 7, you know. There must be some pissed off gal in the comment section. I mean, in watching this video, decide to just sign off. Or certain men there are watching it with their gal in it, so they're just like, yeah, 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 lost connection and that. Like, yeah, man, man, on to you, man, expose you, innit? And expose you, but yeah. If you're a girl, you've been a man's fiance for like over three years, five years, ten years, he's not marrying you. Yeah, the only reason why he's put a ring on your finger is because maybe you gave him some kind of ultimatum, or he feels like he's gonna lose you or something. So, yeah, he's, he's trapped you. Yeah, and man, trust me, man, because I you lot can't see why well, you know you lot can see in it. He's he's watching. I can I, I see the little viewers go down from 11 to 8 I, I see you motherfuckers yeah you watching it with your gal in your bed all comfortable like yeah man this is a great live stream isn't it yeah great until jay says something that gotta rock the boat yeah ain't no sex for you tonight baby yeah <laughs> yeah you better marry that girl in it but no no seriously man, man for not but don't, man then don't get married innit? don't get married innit? only get married if you're earning 30 grand a year and that woman earns 100 grand. So that if you break up, yeah, get me, you're going to be in benefit or whatever. Isn't it? But if she's on 30 grand a year and you're on 100 or 150 grand a year, don't get married. Don't get married. Man. Yeah. All this prenups and that blood, I'm sure there's ways around it where the woman still comes out with something. Woman still comes out on top. Yeah. Don't get married. We need to get married for it. It's a fucking piece of paper. Yeah. All you're gonna do is just create more problems for yourself. I swear down, you're like you are still technically married to someone, even if you want to be divorced. 
but they don't want to divorce, so they need to sign the papers and they don't want, I don't know. I don't know, I need to ask someone about this. Um, but yeah, it's long, man. It's long, it's long, it's long. Fam, there's some women out here, blood. Trust me, certain men are bitches out here. Some, some man bitch up, you know. Some women tell them, you need to marry me. Yeah? You need to marry me. And some man, they cave. Don't cave, blood. Don't cave. Imagine, yeah, like, imagine you gave in and you married a woman, yeah? What else is she going to put on you? What other ultimatums is she going to put on you, fam? You just open yourself up for trouble, blood. You know what? You quit while you're ahead. You think, trust me, you think you're losing out on that woman. You think you could be potentially losing out on that woman by not marrying her. Blood, get married to her and then watch you not break her after 10 years and see what you've lost. Trust me, you're better off losing that woman in the beginning and walking away with all your money than fearing, yeah, you're in fear that you're going to lose that woman, so you marry her, and in 10 years' time, you lose your whole yard and you're homeless. Yeah? You get kicked out, she'll move some waste man in, you have his feet up, watching the Arsenal game, watching Arsenal lose to Tottenham, and he's fucking the woman as well. Rent free. Yeah? Feet on, his, on, your, on your coffee table with one hole in his big toe in his sock. Yeah? Eating out of your fridge. Yeah, fuck that, man. That that even happened to a man. When I was at home to Haringey, um, there was a guy, he, yeah, his wife cheated on him or whatever. A new man has moved into the yard. He's got his feet up and that, yeah, living rent free, yeah. Well, there's no rent, yeah, because the ex-husband is still paying for the mortgage. Do you know why he's still paying for the mortgage? Because obviously his kids still live there, innit? So he had a he had a wife and two children, let's say. They broke up, yeah. They're still technically married. He owned the house or joint mortgage, whatever, in it. He's still paying off this mortgage whilst he's probably either living at his mum's yard or in a room share or something like that, or with a, with a mate or a friend. He's still paying and contributing to this mortgage and another man has moved in in his bed on his sofa feet on his coffee table watching the arsenal game with a beer in his fucking hand that's what will happen to you if you get married maybe possibly man ain't taking their chances i'm not getting married for anyone try pressure me to get my your pussy on it move come out of my face but I couldn't even try to put that pressure on man yeah. y'all will have to pressure me for a fucking relationship yeah let alone a fucking marriage you're going mad but yeah that's why a certain girl if you are if you ask a girl yeah or if you know a girl that's been a fiance for 10 years five years or everything just know say that man ain't marrying i don't give a fuck what that guy says i don't give a fuck I don't care and if he was really serious about marrying her, he would. He just he just put a ring on her finger to keep her happy, in it. And anytime the marriage, oh, when are you gonna get married? Oh, money's tight and and money is tight. But forget about the money being tight. The intentions was to not ever get married to you in the first place. Just put the ring on your finger, shut your mouth. Yeah. You got half the <laughs> half the commitment in it. Yeah. What well, you are, what more you are. 